Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This time we're talking about copy trading, how to copy trade using Bybit, and more importantly, what are the pros and cons, and how to set it up for the best chance of success. If you're thinking about copy trading, you've come to the right video. First and foremost, you're gonna need a Bybit account. Check out the link in the description to get some amazing bonuses. You then wanna head straight into your account and head straight to here where you will notice that there's a copy trading option under derivatives. So highlight derivatives here, come down, click copy trading, and this is now the Bybit copy trading section. Now, first and foremost, what is copy trading? Well, copy trading is where if you want as much of a skilled trader, you can go ahead and allocate funds towards another trader on Bybit who you will copy their trades, much like the name suggests. So very straightforward, you will allocate some money, which I'll show you shortly, and that money, those funds, will be allocated towards copying the trades that that so-called master trader takes. So Bybit calls them master traders, right? So if you're an experienced trader, on the other hand, and you want to become a master trader, you can apply to do so on Bybit as well, right? You'll click here and you'll click join as a trader and you can earn a percentage of all the people that copy you. So let's say now I want to copy one of these master traders. I've got a whole bunch of different options, right? Just by, just by coming to this copy trade section, I can see a whole bunch of different traders. And a lot of these metrics can be quite overwhelming if you don't know what you're looking for, right? I mean, all of these are green. How do I know which one is good and which one's bad? All of them are showing a decent percentage. Surely I can make money with any of them. It's not that easy, guys. And sometimes a lot of people get burnt in copy trading because they don't know how to do it. Just because you're letting another trader you know, take the trades and you're copying, you still need to pick that master trader with diligence. And I'm going to show you exactly how. So the first thing I want you guys to do is head over here and click on all master traders at the top. Now you're going to get a list of all the traders, right? That's the first step. But the problem here now you have is all of these are showing a seven day ROI. And the reality is anybody taking some decent trades for seven days can hit a profit. Or even if the market is green, anybody can get a profit for seven days, right? So we're going to have to ignore that. We're going to have to come over here and click on the longest option you have, which is 90 days. Click on 90 days and then make sure you've clicked on this bit here to sort it from highest to lowest, right? You can click here and you can click from highest to lowest. Now, suddenly you can see the percentage. But does this mean now I just ape into the one with the top percentage? No. There's a lot of other metrics you have to look at, right? Look at this, 90 day master p &L. This person has made $11,000 in total for all the people that were following. The uh, if you look at the um, if you look at the P and L of the followers, the followers have made nothing. So he's made his own money, but nobody is following him just yet. Okay, so for this person here, the hive, nobody is following. Seventy five percent win rate, which I'll come on to shortly. Stability index is on zero, and only one person is following. So normally, what you want to be doing is looking for people with a good track record, and a good track record means a couple of different things. It's not just which one has the highest highest ROI. No. You want to look at which one has the highest ROA, a good win rate, enough people following them that they have some credibility and that they've been doing it for a long time, right? You don't want somebody that's just hit a bit of profitability last week. They could have got lucky catching a few trades, right? So let's now go ahead and change this to followers p &L. Let's see who has made the most money for their followers, because obviously that means that their followers are willing to put decent amounts of money into following this trader. So this guy over 90 days has delivered a thousand percent. Very nice, right? You can see his PL personally is 4,700, but he's made his followers half a million dollars. 80% win rate, five out of five stability, and 943 people following his trades. Now that's what I call some good stats. Now, Bybit has made this a little bit easier for you as well. If you take a look at here, you can see a bunch of different tags. They've basically tagged each trader with a few key attributes. So you can see straight away that this is one of the top traders. He has top ROI and he's a stable trader. And if you come down to this guy, let's say this RDM club, top profit, high leverage. So if you don't want high leverage, you want to stay away from that guy. Then you can come onto this guy here. Look, he's got a tag of veteran. That's a nice tag to have, right? He's been doing it for a long time. He's not doing it for a couple of months and then suddenly loses all the money for his followers and then disappears, right? He's a veteran. He's been there. Then you have some another tag down here, high frequency. Again, if you like somebody that trades a lot, 
right? On smaller time frames, maybe that is something for you to consider as well. So you've got a whole bunch of different metrics. And simply to follow them, to copy their trades, it's one click, right? You click on copy and off we go. We start the journey of copying this trader. It couldn't be easier. So if I go ahead and press copy here on this guy, you get this little pop-up. Now, in this pop-up, I get to see his key stats, right? Some of them we saw already. He's managing assets of $3 million. It's kind of like a mini hedge fund, right? He's got $3 million allocated to him for him to trade with, basically, and he's made his people money, right? You can see that the max drawdown he's had, the max loss on the account is 4.16%. Not bad at all, okay? And he gets 12% of the profit share. That's what he earns for the work he's doing. So again, if you guys wanted to be a trader, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to join as a trader because you could be earning that percentage split if you're an experienced trader. Followers, 943. Okay, so now we want to get started. How much do I want to, you know, allocate towards copying him? Now, again, you guys want to be very, very careful, right? You guys know if you watch my content, trading is a small percentage of my portfolio. If I've got 100% of my crypto portfolio, about 5 to 10% of that, depending on my risk tolerance, is allocated towards trading. Now, of that 5 to 10%, maybe you want to allocate an even smaller amount to copying people's trades. Now, I'm going to come on to shortly why you probably don't want to just copy one person's trade. So you're going to want to decide how much do you want to allocate to copy trading as a whole. Let's say you want to allocate $1,000 and then you might say, okay, I'm going to pick five different people and I'm going to pop in $200 per one, right? And of course, you guys change the numbers based on what's comfortable for you. I'm just sharing you. Now, in this case, you can see this guy has decided your investment should not be less than $1,500. So let's up that to $2,000 and off I go. I can now get myself ready to copy trade now it says select items to copy i can choose to copy his perpetual trades i can copy his trading bots so he's obviously got trading bots set up as well because he's using those to scrape then i can click on more settings and you can see i've got a bunch of different other settings here where i can control my max position per margin contract so let's say i'm not comfortable with how much he's doing I can change that. Now, one thing you'll notice, I can't change some of this, right? For some traders, you can't change some of these settings. So have a play around, play with other different traders. But remember, this is the double-edged sword. This is one of the mistakes I see a lot of people making with copy trading. They decide to use some of these features, right? Like for example, I can change my stop loss percentage. I can take change my take profit ratio per order. But if I'm doing all of that, am I actually copying the master trader that I'm supposed to be copying? Right. And this is the frustration as a trader. I'm, a, I'm somebody that trades. If somebody wants to copy my trades, but then you're changing my stop losses, you're changing all the risk dynamics. Well, you've just changed my risk management. So you have to understand that if you start using some of these safety metrics in the settings, which I'm not saying don't use, definitely check them out. But just understand and be cognizant of the fact that you are fundamentally changing some of their trading strategies. So if you've picked a good trader that you trust, try to let them have the remit, right? Like you've seen in this guy, max drawdown of 4.16%. If you're not comfortable with that and you're going to start kind of, you know, uh, uh, reducing the stop loss distance to protect yourself a little bit, then is this the right trader for you, right? Maybe find someone who takes an even less of a drawdown. That's something you guys need to decide when picking your trader let's take a look at another one. Oh, look at this guys as an example so when you sort many of these you'll find that many of them are full some of the ones you like once you've done your analysis you're like oh that's so annoying everyone i like is just full go ahead click here and you will get alerted when they become available so you see this join waitlist i can click that there's 904 now in the waiting list including myself and it will alert me when there is an opportunity available okay so don't be disheartened if you see that just join the waitlist people do drop in and drop out but now whilst we're in this page this is a very important page for you guys to look at what i'm now looking at is the trading details of a specific um a specific copy trader in fact i'm going to pick a different one because this guy doesn't have that much history so let's go pick a different guy let's use the same guy again and let's go to his details page so we'll just open up in a new tab and now you can see all of their details you can see all the stats all the charts it's all here in one place first thing you're going to want to do click into here and click it into 90 days Okay, get the long term picture. You want somebody who's been trading for a while and has been profitable for a while. If you see any, you know, big, you know, uh, troughs and peaks in here, be a little bit worried. You want a consistent trader like this that's kind of built it up over time. This is a nice uh, chart you're seeing here. You can then see here on the stats, you can see the ROI, you can see the PL, you can see the max drawdown. So here you can see the win to loss percentage ratios, right? So from 29 trades he's token, taken in, in total, 17 have been wins, 
12 have been losses, right? So you can see it's pretty, pretty even there. It's not like he's got a crazy win percentage. But here's where it's important. If you understand risk management, you understand that this guy's doing a good job because the profit to loss ratio is $43 to one. So for every $1 he's risking and losing, he's making $43, which is absolutely insane. It's a very strong level to be at. Weekly trades, he's taking about 23 trades on a weekly basis. On average, he holds the trades for about 2.6 days. So in other words, he's a swing trader right he's not this kind of like intraday trading every hour he's not even trading every minute scalp trading he kind of sets a trade and generally he closes it in the next two or so days so again if that doesn't match the type of strategy you're looking for you can look for something else ROI volatility 5.24% and then you've got some few other ratios which are beyond the scope of this video including the sharp ratio and the saltina ratio you guys can google those and see uh, what those mean if you're interested now then you can look at all how the profiters are do uh, the people following are doing right this is one of the followers he's he's made ten thousand dollars following this guy this follows made nine thousand dollars this guy's made nine thousand etc etc you can see you can see you can then see the profit and lost days on this day he made some money this was a drawdown day right daily profit he lost 168 bucks then this day he made 400 bucks this is the art of trading right you're gonna have losing days as long as you're having more winning days than losing days you're gonna be in good shape Again, notch it up to 90 days, see it over a longer term period, and you see that this is a good account to be looking at, right? Good following. Again, you want to go ahead, click on copy, if you're happy with this copy, and you can allocate some investments. Let's try copying some other guy. Let's take this guy here. Let's say we want to copy him. Click on this. You can choose how much you want to invest. Let's say a thousand bucks. Again, which ones do I want to copy? Look at the more settings. Do I want to change my stop loss? Do I want to say, okay, my stop loss, I want it always here at 5%. Again, take into account what I said earlier, that you don't want to be playing with too many of these settings if you're trusting a trader. Same for take profit. You can change the take profit. Slippage. You may want to look at this guy. This is your max slippage per order. So basically what this means is if your copy trader is taking a trade, what it what Bybit then tries to do is copy his trade, right? But if the price has moved in that time, that's called slippage. So you may get into the price at a percent or two different to the trader and therefore get slightly different results so you can set a max slippage you can say hey if you don't get it within 0.5 percent here 0.6 percent as i've set here of the price that the master trader got in at, i don't want to get in there's pros and cons here on the on the one hand it means you don't get in at a silly price that's fine but on the other hand it means you could miss some of the good trades and that can mess up all your profit and loss as well so just be very very careful with these things when you're playing around with it okay now, you can also choose which contracts. So if you like the tokens that this person trades with, you can leave them selected. If you don't, you can click these and say, oh, I don't want to copy him for these ones. Therefore, if he places a trade on any of these specific tokens, perhaps because I don't like those tokens or I don't like trading them, it will not copy those trades again. If you're playing around with his strategy and you're saying, oh, I don't want to take these trades and these trades, and then you only pick the ones where he takes losses and you don't pick the ones where he takes gains, your results are going to vary. So take responsibility if you start playing around with all these settings here, because uh, I know many master traders don't like you kind of manipulating them. But of course, they're there for your safety, right? It's there for you to kind of decide what you want to do. Similarly, there's a max daily position, right? So you can say maximum, I never want more than 500 of the 2,000 I've allocated, uh, allocated into position. If you're not sure what any of these means, just hover over it. Once the trader reaches 500 USDT worth of positions in a single day, you will automatically stop copying the trades for the day. Very important. Now, there is um, another option you can have. You can say follow the margin. So again, if you don't want to follow the master trader settings, you can change it to cross or isolated. Again, you guys know I'm a not a, a big leverage trader. I don't trade leverage. But if you guys are, you may want to consider this very important. Remember, cross margin, all available balances on your margin account will be deployed to meet your maintenance margin right so it'll go into your whole account and use your money to make sure that you're not liquidated whereas if you choose isolated a specific amount of margin i.e the initial margin is applied so it can't just go into your other funding accounts on bybit and use that to maintain your position so be very very careful leverage guys leverage uh, is a very advanced thing and if you don't know what you're doing it can be quite painful now, coming on to copy trading and whether I personally would use copy trading, if I was not a good experience, if I was not an experienced trader, would I use copy trading? Yes, I would definitely consider it, but I would make sure that I'm treating this, not like a lazy person who just goes here, like I've said, picks the one with the highest percentage and just clicks copy. You're going to get bad results. What you want to do is actually sit down, do your due diligence like I just showed you, look at their stats, 
pick a few, right? Diversify, pick four to five, maybe even six of these traders that you're going to copy, allocate a specific amount of money to each, give them a certain period of time before you're going to watch their performance and actually analyze the performance. And if it's not working the way you thought, cut and get into another uh, master trader. You've got to treat this actively as well. It's not super passive where it's just like, oh, I'm just going to copy him and, and not worry about anything. No, they're your copy traders. If they're not performing, cut and go to somebody else. Manage your team of traders, right? It's a nice way of you thinking about it is manage your team of traders. And finally, I'll just emphasize on the point that, look, if you're going to copy trade, then allow the master traders to trade. Right. In reality, you've chosen those guys to trade because you don't know how to trade like they've trade. So if you're going to go in and mess around with all their settings and change everything, then you're not going to get the results that they're showing in their stats page. If you appreciate this type of content, make sure you smash the likes. Don't forget to sign up for a Bybit copy trading account. Link is in the description. Let me know how you get on in the comments with copy trading. If you want to become a master trader yourself, I'll also leave a link in the description for you to become a master trader where you can earn a percentage of all the commissions and the profit that you make for the people following you. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.